welcome to Kids Camp Kitchen Fun. I'm Miss Cinda. And I'm Auntie Linda. And you're going to find out why we call it Kitchen Fun. What are we going to do, kids? We're going to fun! Yes! And we're going to have fun. Oh, we love being in the kitchen, and I think you're going to love it, too. So, um, Auntie Linda, do you think we have a really exciting recipe for them today? Are you making the one that was like um, vegetables and had spinach and everything in it? Close. Because, kids, have you ever had grated turnip and rutabaga cookies? What? Would you like to try grated, grated turnip and rutabaga cookies? Yes! Oh, wow! <laughs> Do you really want to eat that? No! No! <laughs> well, I didn't think so. So, guess what I have for you today? Auntie Linda and I have made coconut oatmeal cookies with dark chocolate chips. Does that sound better? Yes! yes? <laughs> You'll love them. Okay, so we're going to get started. But um, since these are all plant-based, we're going to do something different because we don't use eggs. So Ooh. instead, boys and girls, I want you to get your flaxseed. This is ground flaxseed. See what it looks like? See, flax See this bowl? This is ground flaxseed. And then I want to get take your bigger bowl that's empty, and I want you to put in... Let me look at my recipe, because we need recipes, don't we? Because we want to follow recipes so that it turns up good. So we're going to use two tablespoons. Who can show me what a tablespoon looks like? Who can show me what a tablespoon looks like? Uh, is that, is yours a tablespoon? Is it say one TBS? Yes. This one. Yeah, I thought yours was a teaspoon. It's the big one, and it'll say, boys and girls, one, and it'll say T-B-S, tablespoon. So make sure you get your tablespoon. Make, can you guys get your tablespoon? Nope, it's the big one. I'll, I'll tell you a little hint. It's a big one, okay? So measure out two tablespoons. Two and these boys and girls, when you measure, you look at Miss Cinda. She's measuring like this. But do you think that's a good tablespoon? Mm -hmm. What did I do wrong? I did, very good. So what do you think I should do? There, you wanna come show me? Come show me what I should do with this. Hmm, did you get two? see if you can fix this, because we need to measure right, right? Sure you can get, oh. you can use that handle of that if you want. Show, show them, boys. Boys and girls, what we're supposed to do. You want to grab something that's flat and scrape it across the thing. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Did you boys and girls all see that? Did you yeah. boys and girls see that? So then, so you went two of these, two level tablespoons, okay? And put that in your bowl. So you guys get perfect. That's a tablespoon. Got a question over here. Okay. Which bowl do we put it in? Oh, you'll want to put it in the empty bowl. So this is an empty bowl, so we're going to put it in there, okay? In the smaller bowls, right? It's a smaller empty mm -hmm. bowl. Okay, so two level tablespoons. Mm -hmm. We're going to put that in and set your flax seed aside because you want to get it out of your way. Now we're going to take our bowl of water. You have a little bowl of water, and in that you're going to need one half cup of water. Now, do you all know what a liquid measuring cup is? Do you think this is what I should measure liquid with? This is a half a cup and that's what I need. Very good. Boy, you guys are really good. Yes, boys and girls, for liquid measurements, you use a liquid measuring cup like this glass one. And then this is for dry ingredients. So when we're measuring liquid ingredients, 
We don't hold it like this and then pour our, our liquid in it because you're not going to get a level, a, a, your level half cup because you'll get a little under or a little over. So what you're going to do is set it down on the counter and then pour in enough water to make a half a cup, okay? Got so it. find your half a cup. It'll be one slash two. Right find your half cup. On your mat, very good. Find your half cup, and now hold, you can hold your finger on it, but then look what Miss Cinda's doing. See, she's getting way down here, and good I'm gonna pour good my water good in job. to just a that's half enough. a cup. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. <laughs> now, good job. Good. Okay, find your half a cup. Wait, 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 yeah. let's find your half. Yeah, yeah Miss Cinda oh. needs your glasses. There you go. I'll give you some. Right there. Hold your finger. Pour it all, pour it in until you might use all of it. Looks like you might. Go ahead and put it all in. Oh, let me get some more. Okay, good job. Okay, now see if that's a half a cup. Oh, you're right. We need a little bit more water. Let's get a little bit more water for you. Okay, put in just enough to make it a half a cup, okay? Do you see what he's doing? Did you see it? Look at the line. So boys and girls, did could you see? So when you get down and you actually look at the level of the line, make sure that it's a half a cup because you, it's really important when you're doing um, in measuring ingredients that you get it right. I'll She's get a paper a towel. We have a question over here. Okay. <clears throat> Ours didn't make quite half a cup. Oh, Auntie Linda, could you fill their their oh, yes. with water? Yes. And you can mix that with your flaxseed now. You can put the put the water now in into the exactly. And then you take your spoon. Cup. See that spoon there? Take your spoon and stir it up. No, we only do half a cup. There you go. Take that. Stir it up. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna you stir it up. Good? I gotta add mine, don't I? Okay, stir it up with your spoon. Just your now you're gonna out. take this and set it aside. Does anyone know why I'm gonna set it aside? Yes. Because so he could observe the water to make it look like the egg. That's exactly right. It's gonna gel. It's gonna get real kind mm -hmm. of like a gel and thick, and so it is acts as a binder for our ingredients, so it's in, we use that instead of an egg. Right. That's right, we call it a flaxseed egg. Isn't that cool? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So now we Another are gonna- Another question. Okay. My mom uses this sometimes in pancakes. <gasps> exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's a good flaxseed egg. Okay, this is going to be your wet ingredients bowl. Well, you have, use your green one for your um, dry ingredients and use this one for your wet ingredients because we're gonna mix our wet ingredients and pour it into our dry ingredients. So Good let's job. mix Good our job. wet ingredients first. So what cup do you use for measuring wet ingredients? Get your wet ingredients and the you're wet. gonna do a half a cup of water which I don't think, um, well, no, we're gonna do, a let's do a half a cup of oil. You're gonna do a half a cup of your uh, vegetable oil and pour a half a cup into your measuring cup and put it into your liquid bowl, okay? So I'm gonna do, half thank you, Miss Leslie. All right, I'm gonna do a half a cup of oil. There we go. And, you can use your um, spatulas, which I mine got down here. I'm gonna pour my oil into my red bowl. Okay, I can absolutely do that. So what you're gonna do is, um, oh, you know what? You don't have a red bowl. Let's give you. Here's a red bowl. Got put down there. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your oil. Get your liquid measuring cup and find your half a cup. See? So boys and girls, make sure you find your half a cup. There, it's right there. Pour your oil up to that line. And then you'll pour that into your bowl. Good job. That's good job. 
Okay, so while they're doing that, you're gonna need two, find your two, find your one teaspoon. That's a tablespoon. It'll, good, and that looks good too. Everybody got a one teaspoon? A teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Let me see your one teaspoon. Okay, you are gonna want, perfect. You're gonna want two of these filled with your pure vanilla. And you can tell what's vanilla because it's kind of like a brown liquid. And when you smell it, it smells really good. Oh, I guess you can put your oil in here. Okay, so you're gonna need two teaspoons. You can put your oil so in here. you can either pour it like this into your yeah, teaspoon. You can pour that in here. One. You can pour, pour might be a little easier. If you get a little extra vanilla, it's not gonna hurt. It won't hurt at all. That's one thing that will not hurt. <laughs> no worries. Okay. It's okay. No worries. Exactly right. Now I think that's all the all of oh, of our liquid. So get your whisk and take turns. But you get yeah, your I'll whisk and yeah. gently whisk this up. Let's pour it in here. Okay. Gently whisk this up. And now we'll set this aside because we're gonna mix this. Your green bowls, you're gonna mix your dry ingredients, okay? So find, we're gonna need two and a half cups of quick oatmeal. So find your one cup. See your one cup? You guys have your, you one your one cup? cup? Right here. Get one of you take, one of you take a one cup, one of you take a half a cup. Let me see your half cup and one cup. All right. Where's your one cup? All right, you guys got them? Okay, you want two of cups of oatmeal. So if you have a one cup, fill, his cup. Put, fill it twice and pour it into your bowl. If you have a half a cup, just put do some, one, okay? There. So, put some more in there. very good. Let's All move right. this out for you. More. Okay. Can I fill it to the top? A half a cup will say one and a line there. A little bit. And a two. See it? Yeah. A half a cup. Okay, so fill your, no, put, put your oatmeal in. in. You want two and a half cups of oatmeal. You might have to use your hands, so it's a good thing we washed them first. Yeah. And you know yeah. what? It's okay to use hands when yeah. you're cooking, okay? Put it here. It's just yeah. fine. And you could yeah, use okay. a spoon if you wanted. I need a little bit more. There you go. I got two. Now, here's my half cup. You want to do my half cup for me? Here. I need a half a cup. And you can use your hands. Good job. Good job. Yes? Do we need two of these? Two of the one cups, one of the a half cup. You got it? So, uh, if we can't fully fill our one cup, can, can we use the half of cup to fill it back? Absolutely. It you can use your hands, too. Use your hands. That's why Come we wash them first. You can see, you can just take this like this scoop your, scoop and put it right in there. There you go. And we can do this. Here, I'll hold it like this, and you can guide it in, okay? Ready? Good job! There we go, thank you. Okay, that's done. Okay, now you're gonna need um, two cups of your all-purpose flour. So you each can measure a cup. Each, each of you measure a cup. measure one cup? Get your one cup and measure two cups of all-purpose flour. And, and what am I gonna do? Do I have this measured right? You guys look at this. Do I have this measured right? You can have a little more. No. What do I need to do? I do. I need to level it off, don't I? So I'm just going to take my spoon and I'm going to take the handle of my spoon and I'm just going to level it off. See how I did that? Isn't that easy? So just take your spoon and level that off, okay? You need a little bit more in there because you're you a little put under. A little bit more so I've got two. Now, if you have a half a cup and you're putting, and you need a cup, how many of those do you need? Two. Two half cups make one cup. So just remember that, boys and girls. So this is, this is not a good thing to measure flour in, is it? There we go. 
Okay, does everybody have their two and a half cups of flour? How are we doing over there? One more cup. Okay, I've got my two, two and a half cups. You need to fill that to the top. How many do you have in so far? One of these? Okay, so you need, use your, use your handle of your spoon. You can even use your spoon. And you did? That's okay too. See, do you see why you, here's why you need to do it. See, boys and girls, I don't know if you can see this, but when she went like this, do you see how it made a deep well in here? And so then we're going to be short on flour. So now we need to add more flour. Did you understand that? So see how I'm going to go like this? I'm going to take the handle of this. And now look, I'm going to go like this. See how that's level? Yeah, that's what you want. Now you'll need one of these. Now you'll need one of those. And you can use this if you want to put your flour in, okay? Okay, so how, is everybody have their flour in? Okay, get your hat, get your four, three-fourths cup. Okay. Hmm, do you have a three-fourths cup? Trick question, boys and girls. <laughs> we didn't put a four three-fourths cup Here's out there. The they do have them. We didn't put that. Yes. We can use the one-fourth and do it three times. Very good. There's one other way you could do it. Where you just use two. What, this is a big math question, boys and girls. <laughs> you can use a half a cup and a fourth a cup, and that makes three-fourths too. So you can find your one-fourth cup, and you can do it three times. You can find your um, a half cup and a fourth cup and do that. So we're going to need to hurry because we don't have a lot of time. So get your half cup and fill it with sugar. There you go. This one, three times. Or one and one. Here, you can And a fourth sugar. cup. Uh-huh. Fill that one. This, so you'll need one of these and one of those with sugar. And you can do what Miss Cinda's doing. See, I'm just pouring it in like that. There, and make it an even. Now, um, then you're going to need three-fourths cup of dark brown sugar. So you're going to do the same thing. Did you find your white sugar? Get your white sugar. Okay. Let me see. We're going to add another half cup of flour for you guys. Okay. You need your um, sugar. You'll need a half, one of those and one of the red ones. And then same with your sugar, your dark brown sugar. Because you're going to need three-fourths cup of dark brown sugar. And when you're doing dark brown sugar, you want to push it down, okay? Because you want to pack it. So I'm packing that, okay? Did you guys see how I did that? You want to you wanna pack it down. Let's see. There you go. Okay, how are we doing? Then take your spatula and let's stir this up a little bit. But gently stir it, you guys. You want to get all those dry ingredients because when we get the dry ingredients, then we're going to mix the wet ingredients into it. So let's get this all mixed up. Okay, are you guys all with me? Who has both their sugars in? Their dark brown sugar and their white sugar. Everybody got it? Okay, three-fourths cup of each. Okay, now you're going to get one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. So find your one teaspoon. That is, this is your baking soda, and this is your salt. It does kind of, doesn't it? Let's do one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda. And your soda is gonna be a little bit wider, uh, whiter than your, um, then your cornstarch. Okay, did you get your soda and your salt? Does everybody have one teaspoon of soda, one teaspoon of salt? We're good? Okay. Then we're going to need two tablespoons. So switch back to your really big one, okay? Switch back to your big one. Because you're going to need two tablespoons of cornstarch, okay? Good job, you guys. 
Here, we, let's, let me, yeah, let's, there you go. Sometimes salt sticks together. Good job, okay? Okay, then you're gonna need two tablespoons of your cornstarch, and make sure you get it level, you guys. Yes? I have a question. What? Which one is the cornstarch? Oh, let's see, the cornstarch is gonna be, uh, like when you put it on your fingers, look what it does. You can put your see? fingers in it, and it gets your fingers all like this, kind of sticks to your fingers. And um, the baking soda doesn't stick to your fingers as much. Then you can just go with your finger. Is it weird? <laughs> okay, there's one. It's, it's kind of, it's real and smooth and in. silky, kind of. Okay, so you want two tablespoons of this. Find your big one and make sure you scrape it off because you don't want to get too much. Do you guys have yours? Yes, you got it. Oh, let me help you. Okay, so do you need two of these? So find your big one. You know what, you can use mine. How's that? There you go. You want, you each can do one, okay? There you go. It might not pour so good. Let me help you. It, we really need to get bigger bowls for y'all. Let's, let Ms. me Miss Leslie, can you get us another spatula? Thanks. There, see I leveled it off. Okay, and you, you can do yours. It's kind of hard, you can use your spoon. Let's get that in there. There we go, there we go. Oh, we need, you, let me give you a little bit more of mine. Okay, because you didn't have enough, there you go. Okay, make sure you both have, you should both have specs. Here, here's one for you, and you both can stir it up. Okay, does everybody have all their dry ingredients in? Now you're going to take and add your shredded coconut. And shredded coconut, let me look at my recipe, two cups of shredded coconut. Thank you There's so your much. shredded I'll coconut. Unless you guys really would like to shred a rutabaga or a turnip. Who, would, it, would you it's like rather do that or you want coconut? <laughs> I'll do coconut then. Okay, so you need two cups of coconut. So you want to measure and then level it off and actually, if you get a little extra coconut, boys and girls, it's not going to matter, okay? Because coconut's really good, exactly. And it's good for you. Did you know that? Okay, when you get your coconut in, gently stir everything up, okay? Gently stir everything up. Oh, I'm hearing quiet over there. What, are you guys really concentrating? Yeah, yeah, we have to think about this, <laughs> right? Are you having fun yet? Yeah. yeah, is it fun? Okay, a lot to think about. Uh-huh. Go way to the bottom. Okay, now what you're gonna do is yes. add your chocolate chips. If you want chocolate chips. If you don't want, these are dark chocolate chips and if you, you can add them all. And if you don't want your dark chocolate chips, and then mix that up in there. And if we you don't want question. them, you don't have to add them. Yes? Are they all of them? Yes. Yes. Okay, now go back to your <laughs> red bowl with the liquid, and let's mix your flax seed in there. Where's my flax seed? There's your flax seed. Double right stirring. There. Double stirring. Careful. That, take, let me get you a spatula here. Oh, Miss Leslie, I need a spatula. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, probably in this one. And you're gonna take and mix we have your flax. Question. Yes. Where where do we put the flax seed? You're gonna put your flax seed in with your liquid, where you put your oil and your vanilla. Put your flax seed in that, and gently stir that up. And then you're gonna make a little, make a big hole in your in your dry ingredients. See how I'm making a big hole, boys and girls. I'm making a really big hole, and into that oh, hole, put you your liquid ingredients, okay? Where's whisk it up, ingredients? whisk it up. Oh, we got a new recipe here. We already put our li liquid ingredients in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try it a different way. Put your liquid okay, ingredients in. in. I hope it works. Oh, it'll be good. And you're gonna stir it up. 
Yes. Miss we Cinda? Could, Miss Leslie, could we have some more spatulas, please? Oh, thank you. <laughs> she snuck in on me, boys and girls. I didn't see her with these. Here's your spatula. Does anybody else need a spatula? Nope. Okay, now make a well. Make a little hole. We call it a well because we're yeah, making a little a hole, hole in the middle. And, you and pour your ingredients in and use your spatulas to get all that liquid ingredient out of boys and girls. Well, so see how I got my bowl it, totally it, empty? Because I used my spatula and it got all my liquid out. Use that same spatula and gently, boys and girls, very gently. Do you guys know why we're doing this gently? Because it okay, will spill me. all over. And so we don't want to do that. And actually, Miss Leslie, could you uh, bring a big pitcher of water because we really needed another half a cup of water for, for this recipe because see how dry this is? We're not gonna be able to form cookies. So we need to make, it really needs another half cup of water. So let's get some more water in here. And we'll just pour some water in all of yours, okay? Because you really need, yeah, but you can keep moving. You can, let me move this, all this. And if you guys want nuts, you can pour your nuts in too. Do you like walnuts? Do you know walnuts are real? Do you like walnuts? You know walnuts are really good. Yes. You can't find your spatula? How about if I let you use this one? Good? Oh, thank you. Can you just go around and pour a here? A half a cup. I'll take half a cup. All right, to here. Good, and if you can just pour a half a cup, here's the half a cup you can use, and just pour it in everybody's. And you can add your walnuts too. You know what, these cookies freeze good and they're really good to take on a camping trip. Who likes to camp? You guys like to go camping? Oh, was it fun? My fishing pole didn't want to work, so not really. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> well, boys and girls, we're going to finish this recipe. We're out of time right now. And boys and girls, we're all out of time. But you're going to get your cookie scoop and scoop these recipes. And then you're going to bake them at 350 for about 10, 15 minutes. Bye. Have fun in the kitchen.